every time I get an opportunity to paint um, something for the city, because I, I, I'm born and raised here in Houston, I'm really proud of it, Pro sometimes too proud, like I'm, I'm all over the place, you know, uh, and, and people know that Houston and me is like we're, 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 we're together. And, um, but when I paint pieces that are uh, homage or tributes to the city, um, what I love about it is that it's, it's my representation and it's how I feel and I display it visually and very bright and colorful and loud uh, through my art taking consideration the community because in the end they're the ones that are going to yeah, be the stewards and, and see it every right day. and so anytime I, I i can paint something you know i i always i feel like i'm a very positive person and, and as i paint i'm thinking positive energy and it, it without sounding too much like a hippie I, I i kind of had this vision of like as i paint this positive energy is kind of flowing through me and, and through the paint through the can into the wall being embedded and so that when people come visit the wall my interpretation is that the the sun is bouncing off that wall and all that positive energy is kind of vibrating off and people absorb it. See, you would never, you would never guess that. Unless you That's talk deep, to man. Yeah, like, I know. I, I, feel feel like like I, need, I kind of need to like white. I know, I know, yeah. I know. I feel like when you say a prayer or something, man. Yeah, exactly. So, so is there a story behind that? For me, I like, I like the blues. For me, it's the blue and the whites and it just, so, uh, so what's if, the story behind if, Freddie's piece? If you really, if you really look at it and you have time to kind of stare at it, uh, essentially, um, you know, Houston's the most diverse city in all of America. They, they actually say that the way Houston looks now, the rest of America is going to look like in about 15, 20 years. So we're really leading the pack, especially on how uh, different communities can come together and, and be one. Yeah. The more I dig to indigenous culture, no matter where you're on the planet, the more you realize that everyone's more the same than, than, than different. Everyone's more alike because every every culture and subculture, they all have their own rituals that they're all similar, right? They all have their own patterns and color combinations and symbols that, that, that mean certain specific. But if you start analyzing them all as a whole, there's so many similarities. All that being said is, I absorb all that. And what you see visually are the different combinations of either patterns, color combinations of these indigenous cultures that create this blanket, this quilt, this visual quilt of what Houston is. It's a diversity. I like how you say that visual quilt. That's beautiful. Because yeah. it literally is. It is a quilt. You're quilting these buildings or these components yeah. that you're painting. And so when you look at it, it's basically representative of how we all work together because um, if you really study it, it's Houston's the center. Okay. It's, it's these abstract wings. Okay. And and it's all of us that we work together to make Houston what it is and give it its flight, give it its air, give it its its, its power to, to to lift. And so that's what that mural stands for. What I love about it is that it's public art, so it doesn't matter how much money you have in your pocket. You could be broke, homeless, you can be rich and famous, but everyone can appreciate the art at the same time at the same level. But as I've grown as a person, as I've matured as an artist, uh, you know, it, it's not everything I do is quote unquote graffiti. Okay. Um, and then I, I, I have these, I, I dabbled in a lot of things uh, creatively. So, I mean, I, I, I like to say I'm a creative person, but um, art is definitely my, my McLaren.